Hey there guys, it's Paul Archer from dronesgear.com and this is the ultimate comparison between the Xiaomi Mi 4K and the Phantom 3 with a surprising conclusion. I chose the Phantom 3 Advanced to compare it against the Xiaomi because they are both very popular GPS camera drones with similar performance. I'll be comparing flight time, range, controllers, video quality, stability and I'll also give you my personal opinion at the end. I'm also going to compare the Xiaomi 4K with the DJ Mavic which is a much more expensive drone just to see how it handles it. So subscribe and hit that bell notification button if you want to see that. The Xiaomi Mi 4K is considerably cheaper than the Phantom 3 Pro and Advanced so keep that in mind. I got my Xiaomi drone from Gearbest.com because they had a pretty big discount at the time. They also have it on stock in the US warehouse. A great place to get the Phantom 3 right now is Amazon.com. You have links for both in the description to check their prices as they always change. Now let's start comparing these two beasts. I chose the DJI Phantom 3 Advanced because it's closer in price. The difference between the Phantom 3 Advanced and Pro is that the Advanced goes to a maximum resolution of 2.7K and the DJI Phantom 3 Pro is 4K. Both the Xiaomi and any model of Phantom 3 Pro or Advanced are pretty much the best camera drones you can get under $700. And this video is going to help you decide which one is going to make it into your order basket. I don't have a case for the Xiaomi, but if we put the original box next to a Phantom 3 case, you can see the Xiaomi is slimmer, even though the drone itself is larger. So why is that? The Xiaomi has a retractable landing gear and the camera can also be removed, leaving only a very slim profile to the drone. In terms of weight, Xiaomi is slightly heavier at 1376 grams, compared to the 1280 grams on the Phantom 3, so about a 100 grams difference. Even though the Xiaomi can have a slimmer profile while in the box, I think it comes at a disadvantage when it's fully set up. However, it's perfect if you want to store it in a tighter space or simply not having to carry a huge Phantom bag with you. The propellers have different mounting systems. On the Xiaomi drone, there's a similar system to the new DJI Quick Release props, where you only have to twist once and push, and the propellers are secure in place. On the other hand, Phantom 3 has the old style of mounting propellers. You simply screw each one of them in place. This will take more time from the drone setup, so the Xiaomi wins in this case. Underneath the camera, there's the proximity sensors for each. Both drones have stereoscopic camera for stable indoor flight and two sonars to detect distance to the ground. Both drones have really good flight times, but the Xiaomi 4K has the slight advantage. Xiaomi advertises their drone to fly for up to 27 minutes in perfect conditions, but in real life I've got a maximum of like 23 minutes. DJ Phantom 3 is advertised at about 25 minutes in perfect conditions, but I seem to fly for a maximum of 20 minutes. Both quadcopters have smart batteries that indicate how much more battery is remaining and both batteries come with safety features. In terms of flight range, they both should be about the same. I tested them in Europe and both lost signal at exactly 3000 meters, which is about 1.86 miles. Both controllers are high quality hobby grade ones, yet they feel slightly different in the hand. The Xiaomi transmitter has more of an Xbox controller feel to it and it's considerably smaller. The sticks feel a little more sensitive. The Phantom 3 sticks do appear a little bit more rigid, yet that also makes them feel more durable, but I can't really tell for sure. Everything is bigger on the Phantom controller, including the phone mounting pad, but the good thing about it is that you can also mount bigger tablets on it. The Xiaomi controller can hold the biggest phones on the market easily but I don't think any tablet can fit in there. Here's a quick presentation of the Xiaomi remote buttons. At the bottom, there's the power on button and next to it you can find a button for automatic landing. Between the sticks, there's a return to home switch that you can cancel anytime. On the back, you can find two easy to access buttons for taking photos and video. Top left, there's the wheel for changing the camera angle and top right, the wheel for changing the exposure to light. At the bottom you can find a microSD slot for charging and a USB slot. 
This older Phantom 3 controller has a very similar button configuration, but in a bigger package and a little bit more complicated. The top left wheel handles camera angle. The switch close to it changes flight modes between GPS, manual and headless mode. The red dot button starts and stops the video recording. On the right side there's a camera settings dial, a button for changing shutter speed and a playback button. There's two customizable buttons on the back and it has the same connectivity options like the Xiaomi, a USB and a micro USB slot. The most important thing in a camera drone is… you guessed it, the camera. And also the gimbal. This being said, let's look at each one of them and draw some conclusions. The most notable difference between the two cameras is that the Xiaomi camera is removable. And not only that, you can connect to a Xiaomi stick and basically create a DJI Osmo with it. DJI Phantom 3, of course, doesn't have a module camera, which means that if you crash and break the camera, you'll probably have to replace the entire drone. With Xiaomi, you can simply get a new camera and stick it in place and you're good to go. Both drones have microSD card slots and USB slots on the cameras. Both come with 3-axis motorized gimbals, which makes the footage super stable and frankly, I think they are both doing this job great. I'll show you some actual footage in a moment. Let's get into some quick camera specs. The Phantom 3 Advanced only goes to 2.7K, while the Xiaomi 4K, well, you guessed it. Both can do 60 frames per second at Full HD resolution and can go up to 3200 ISO in video mode, although I wouldn't recommend going that high. Here's a comparison filmed in 1080p with both of them. I personally like the colors on the Xiaomi better because they seem vivid, but both drones come with really good detail, even in Full HD resolution. I have noticed that both of them show the propellers in the shot when the camera is looking forward while moving. However, the Phantom managed to show an arm from time to time which gives a point to Xiaomi. Here's another 1080p comparison, handheld from the same spot. I simply like both videos a lot, so I'll let you decide which one you like best. Now it's time to compare some 2.4K footage. The Xiaomi can also do 4K, but I kept both of the Phantom Advanced maximum level. I tested the Xiaomi drone as a handheld stabilized gimbal and I wanted to see how well it does in that situation. This is the result. Besides gimbal stability, I wanted to see how stable these both drones are when it comes to GPS. So I made this comparison. In part 1 a man with a horse came, so I had to move away.
Part 2 wasn't long enough because I ran out of battery, but I think you got the idea by now. As a conclusion, I find both of these drones to be very similar and I would probably recommend them both to a friend. But it also matters how much money that respective friend has. A DJI Phantom 3 Advanced or Pro is maybe $200 to $300 more expensive. That means that you're getting close to double the price. I find the camera quality to be awesome on both drones and the gimbal stabilization works perfectly. The range is exactly the same and return to home works just as good. Although cheaper, the Xiaomi drone has quite a few advantages. Here is my list of them. It has a smaller form factor in its package. It also has slightly longer flight time. The Xiaomi comes with a modular build, so you can replace a broken camera easily or get a better one in the future. The controller is smaller and easier to use. I found the propellers to be much easier to mount. I'll also say that the positioning system is slightly better from my observations. And finally, it comes with 4K resolution at a very low price. DJI Phantom 3 has the following advantages. One big advantage is that you can mount a tablet on the controller. The more faded image style might be better for people who want to do some color correction. And overall it has a smaller frame compared to an assembled Xiaomi drone. I feel like the app is also a little bit more intuitive and easy to use. This being said, personally, if you don't really have a very good offer for a Phantom 3 Pro or Advanced, I would always recommend you buy a Xiaomi Mi 4K drone. And for under $500, close to $400 if you use the link and coupon in the description, it's pretty much a steal. If you're willing to spend $800 or more on a Phantom 3 that's new, you might just as well spend $200 more and get a DJ Mavic, which is way more compact and offers way more things. Please do tell me in the comments what would you pick between these two drones and what would you recommend to a friend. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get the notifications for my future videos. I'll be doing more videos with the Xiaomi 4K drone, comparing it with the Mavic, a full review on it, and more surprises are coming. So, stay in touch. See you later, alligator! See you later, alligator.